Hi everyone! Here's a quick little tutorial on how to set up your headphone and microphone before going into an Adobe Connect session. This is for Windows users. I'm on Windows 7. Your screen might look a little bit different. From your main Windows desktop, you have a, a bar running across the bottom. Hopefully you've pinned some programs that you use regularly to this side of it so that you can just click and open them without having to go to start or have a lot of things on your desktop. Over here, you might not have as many items as I do here, or they might be configured differently, but these are little programs that are running. At the far right-hand corner, you're going to see a speaker icon, and you can see I'm hovering over it, and it's saying um, that it's at 68% volume, and it's right next to the date. We're gonna right-click on that, and select playback devices. Here you see a list of the potential headphones and speakers that you have available. You want to make sure that the one that you are using your headphones for is the one that's default. So you want to click on that and if it's not default you can right click and you could set it as default. For instance I could go over here and set this as default if it were plugged in. But in this case I want this one to be default and it is so I'm going to click configure. This opens up a little test screen and when you play the test you'll hear cheerful little chimes to the left and right hopefully through your headset and if you do congratulations your headset's set up don't worry about the next bit that's just for surround sound click next and finish. If you don't hear that cheerful little sound then you want to make sure that you've set this as default and you also may need to disable devices that are competing. But before you do that, you want to right click in the blank area and ensure you've got both show disabled devices and show disconnected devices on so that you'll be able to re-enable the device when you want to use it. So if I thought that this speaker's headphones up here was conflicting with my headset down here, I could right click and select disable. If I didn't have show disabled and show disconnected devices on, I might forget it's on and later on freak out when I can't find it. So always right click and make sure show disabled and show disconnected devices is on. The next thing we're going to do is click on the recording tab and recording will give you a range of microphones. Now if you are using a webcam at the same time you're using a headset, you are definitely going to want to disable the webcam microphone if you don't plan on using it because webcams are notorious for fighting with your headset microphone for uh, to take the lead in the audio. So make sure you select the mic you want, ensure it is the default device, and again you right click and would select default if it weren't already, and then you click configure. This will take you to a uh, setup option. You want to click uh, the setup microphone option here and just follow the prompts. I'm not going to do that because it would potentially temporarily disconnect my audio as I'm already using the microphone. But if you click on that and run through the wizard, by the end of it, you will hopefully have a nice little set of green bars going up and down in this menu here. You click OK and you are set and ready to go into your Adobe Connect session.